and I'm going to bring in a protocol for um, being non-reactive with others during the holidays, in gatherings, in one-on-one -on -one interactions. And the very first step is to think about your time with this person before you interact with this individual or with this group. And in a very loving, compassionate way, identify all of the needs that you have with that person or in that group of you want to be accepted, you want to be respected, you want to feel safe, you want to have an experience of connection. Whatever the needs might be, you might, you might want to experience joy. And jot down those needs or just hold them in your mind's eye. And then invite your higher self, your body Davis higher self and team to work with the energetic fields and the guides to retrieve all of those responsibilities for all of those needs getting met off of that individual or off of that group. Invite your higher self, your body, Davis higher self, your team to hold that responsibility for meeting those needs at the level of your higher self, at the level of the higher self of your body, Deva, and team. And then invite those energetic aspects of you, your body, and team to activate those vibrations of those needs in your divine line, activating the vibration of respect, appreciation, acceptance, connection, joy for you, your body, and team. It's essential that all three of these energies hold those particular vibrations of those needs in the divine line of you, your body, and team to have the full impact. And so you are literally going into the situation not really needing anybody to be responsible for meeting any of your needs you are already meeting that responsibility deep in your core. And then you have the capacity to actually show up and serve, to be of service, to hold a safe and loving space for people to be in whatever they need to be in. So that's the very first step of setting up a non-reactive, compassionate, loving, healthy, co-creative way of being with another. And we're not even attached to how the other person is behaving. The second step in this piece is to identify um, any attachment or desire that you have for that person. You want them to be respectful. You want them to be happy. You want them to be in integrity. You want them to listen. Identify all of your attachments and your desires for that individual, for their behavior, and invite your higher self, your body, Davis higher self and team, to work with your energetic fields and the guides, to lift all of your attachment and your desire for, being, for them being a particular way off of them and back to you at the level of your higher self, your body, Davis, higher self, and team. And then, holding your awareness deep in your own divine line, feel how you are attached and desiring being in your own particular energy. Not attached and desiring for another person's reality one iota, just you. 100% attachment and desire and responsibility for your own internal way of being. So when you hold the combination of those two, meeting your needs deep in your core, being only attached, desiring, and responsible for your own internal reality, then you can invite your higher self, your body, Davis, higher self, and team to return any responsibility that you might be carrying for that person being a particular way. Give them that responsibility back. It is their journey. It is their process. There is some deep wisdom within them. They do have the capacity to do it if they hold the responsibility for it or not. No attachment. But you don't want to be stuck holding that responsibility because then they get upset and angry with you and then you're out of integrity. So again, inviting the energetic aspect of you, your body and team to return the responsibility. So there's three, those are three layers. You meeting your needs deep in your core, holding all of your attachment and your desire deep in your core, being responsible for your own internal reality. Actually, we're now at four. Returning any responsibility to them for their way of being 
And then the final piece, holding the safest, most compassionate space for them to be in whatever they need to be in. As you are modeling the solution of what you think they should be in on yourself, but you're not attached or desiring them being in a particular way or behavior. And when somebody feels that safe, compassionate, non-judgmental, non-fixing, non-controlling energy, they start to connect to a deeper aspect of themselves, their essence. And you might actually have interactions with them that surprise you because you're holding a space that is safe for them, for their essence to come out and connect. And if you are deeply connected in with your essence, meeting all of your needs, they might get more connected to their essence, meet all of their needs because you're modeling that healthy co-creative way of being. So those are some of the steps that I invite you to practice prior to setting, prior to engaging in um, interaction with people. And then one final component, when you are interacting and engaging with somebody that does require a little bit of effort, I invite you to think of it as you are working. You are not hanging out at home on holiday, kicking back on the couch, lounging. The moment you step out the door, the moment you answer the phone, the moment you interact and engage with someone who's not in your teeny tiny little sacred circle, you are on call. You're working. Put your working hat on and hold the safest space that you possibly can that is the most loving and modeling right energy. We live in love.